What's going on, everybody? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Emma Smith and his wife Pat, his wife Pat Smith. Okay, they have now officially separated, and they put out joint uh, posts on Instagram about the fact that they are no longer together. Uh, they've been married since 2000. Okay, they've been married since 2000. She was previously married to Martin Lawrence and she and Emmett have, I believe three children together. Now the eldest son is, is leaving the house. He's going off to college and both of them are at a point where I feel like they've completely fallen out of love for each other as far as relationship marriage goes. Now you got the uh, Emma Smith, who is a hall of famer. He's a guy who is a legend. He is somebody who uh, has built quite a name for himself, but he is married to a woman in Pat Smith who has never really had a career of her own. She's never been able to make a name for herself. And I believe that's what she wants. Now, in the breakup post, it says we are publicly sharing this after much contemplation and prayer we have decided to separate we will continue to move forward with love and compassion for one another as co-parents and as friends we will work together in the best interest of our children our family community and business as we take this journey towards the next chapter in our lives we ask for privacy at this moment Emmett and Pat well they're not really gonna get privacy because for the most part they are considered a celebrity couple even though Emmett has been retired for a while, for a well, while, for a long time. Uh, he was on Dancing with the Stars a few years back. They did a reality show together. Um, but for the last couple of years, they've pretty much been, you know, not so public. You know? Now, I'm also going to look at this TMZ article as well. As Emmett Smith, his beauty queen wife, Pat, have announced they're separating just months after celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. Okay. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys legend married Pat, a former Miss Virginia USA beauty queen. And that's going to play into the commentary a little bit later. Back in April of uh, 2000, they have three children together. I said two, but they have three children together. I guess all together. All together is three. The breakup is shocking considering Pat had just written a pretty emotional love letter to Emmett for their 20th anniversary saying hubby I love you so dearly and I'm extremely grateful for all we have built together and for the love that we shared together before Emmett Pat was married to Martin Lawrence from 95 to 97 I skipped over some things I'd already read it this is Pat's second celebrity marriage right she was married to Martin Lawrence that that marriage to Martin Lawrence ended up being a disaster i believe martin lawrence ended up filing from for separation from her if i'm not mistaken and then you know it was it was kind of like and then it went for my back and forth martin was in a bad place in 97 um, so we really don't know all the particulars but i do know from what i read he ended up leaving that marriage and, and separating but pat was somebody who always wanted to be a star. She always wanted to be a celebrity. She tried to, to be an actress in the 90s. She did a couple things. Uh, then she ended up meeting Martin. They got married and separated from him. Then she got with Emmett. She was always secondary in her marriages. She was never able to have a moment of having her own lane, you know? Uh, look at, it's, it's the same thing with Jada Pinkett. Even though Jada Pinkett is a known actress, right? But after a while, she became secondary to Will. Will became the star of that relationship. People only recognized uh, that marriage for Will Smith, not necessarily Jada Pinkett. And she took a backseat role. Now you're starting to see her trying to uh, build her own by using him. She's building her own platform by using Will. The, the previous red table talk they did together amassed 14 million views for the facebook show 
Okay. So you look at Pat Smith. She's somebody who was a beauty queen. She married Martin Lawrence, who was a big time. Martin was big in the nineties. Okay. Then she goes from him. Then she goes to Emma Smith, who was still with the Cowboys when she got with him. He was still a star NFL player. And all these years later, they have kids. The eldest is following in his father's footsteps. He's playing football at Stanford. He's off to college. She's 49 years old. She sees an opportunity to finally be able to have something of her own, to be able to, I wouldn't say build her own legacy, but to be known for being Pat Smith instead of Emmett Smith's wife and Martin Lawrence's ex-wife. Okay, if you look at her bio on IG, she talks about being a speaker, an author, executive producer, an entrepreneur, minister, CEO of Pat Smith Enterprises, founder of Treasure U and PESC. She wants to be able to be known for what she has done instead of who she is with. And again, she's 49 years old. She sees this as the perfect opportunity for her to be able to build something, a legacy for herself. Because people get selfish. I don't care how unselfish people may seem to be. At some point, they want to step in front of the limelight and be known. Instead of be with somebody who is known and they sort of take the background. That's why I believe Emma Smith begrudgingly did that reality show. And I had looked at some of the clips from the reality show in 2016. You could tell Emma Smith did not want to do that show. That was all her. That was all her trying to capitalize on what he had done on Dancing with the Stars and translate it to her building a name for herself. And obviously it really didn't work out. I forgot they even had a reality show. And that was just what, uh, four years ago? And I have forgot they had a reality show. But I don't watch much network TV like that. But I used to try to be in the know of a lot of things. Because, you know, you do content, you have to. And just the, the way that they seemed on that show, it looked to me that, that Emmett was just in it because, you know, again, they're trying to raise the kids together. They done been together for so long. It's almost like a routine that he was good in. I think it was a routine that she was done with. And if you look at her Instagram post leading up to the separation post, she was already preparing to leave. She's putting up these memes. She's putting up these posts. You could tell that she had started to check out that marriage, too, because I believe Emmett had already checked out, but he wasn't going to leave her. Emmett knows that if he would have left her before she was ready to leave, that would have been a messy divorce. It still can be a messy divorce. This still could turn out to be a very messy situation for Emmett. That's why a lot of these guys won't leave. They will stay in it until that woman leaves because they know that if she leaves, if she, if he leaves first, she's gonna make it very difficult for him financially. She's gonna make it difficult for him to see the kids and he wants to play that situation right. So he'll check out of the marriage but he's not going to separate, which again, you shouldn't stay in something you're not going to be happy. And you can't let a woman hold divorce over your, not divorce, hold, you know, you know, child support or spouse support over your head. You just can't do that. And Pat seems to me like somebody who's finally had enough. And at 49, she wants to be able to do something for herself and find happiness. And that could be happiness with another man. I believe Pat Smith believes she could get another celebrity guy. She got with Martin Lawrence. She got with Emma Smith. I truly believe that Pat thinks that she can go and find a guy who has the same status, probably more, you know? That's the self-belief that a lot of women who've been, you know, attractive their entire life, they tend to continue to have that belief. Would it really surprise y'all? Would it really surprise y'all if Pat <laughs> is going to be out there with, with another guy right out the end? Because because women don't leave relationships unless they have another one ready to go. I don't care how old a, a woman is. I don't care how mature you think she is. They still 
will play the same games that younger women play, just better. All right? And with Emmett, I think Emmett is hoping that the divorce is amicable and that she doesn't go after him for um, half of this or that, that they could end things and it financially be be a, a right the right situation for both of them to where he's not ruined and she's not taking you know half everything you know getting full full uh custody of the kids or whatnot so i think he's just going along with it i don't think you should have to do that but in today's society that's just how it is you know that's just how it is now there's going to be some people that are going to say well emmett shouldn't have gotten married that's what he get. He married her in 2000. There was no social media in 2000. These guys would not know uh, the pains of divorce back then. They would not uh, have done the research and seen what had went on in these other situations. They wouldn't have known that. So I can't necessarily say that he should have known better. He married her in 2000. Okay, what were you doing in 2000? You know? But it could also be a learning experience never to get married again. But he could if this marriage works out and he not financially, you know, he doesn't get in a, a, a bad situation. Because, again, we've seen this story before. We've seen couples have these joint posts where they're like, oh, we're se uh, separating. But next thing you know, the, the ex-wife is in court asking for more money to, to buy new houses and talking about how bad of a spouse the guy is and how he's lazy we've seen this before this could happen again but i think pat smith is very savvy and she wants that situation to seem amicable one because she's hoping that emmett doesn't marry another woman at least not right now and two it's a brand that she sees both of them as a brand like will and jada just that will and jada haven't separated but i think she's very savvy and she's gonna put up posts about seeking happiness and going natural but she's gonna be doing her i mean she's not gonna be you know going into a life of solitude and celibacy oh she gonna be out there you know i think pat believes she still got it Pat going to be out there doing her. 